we have finished its sales document header now we are going to discuss about sales document item okay yes and after that we are going to discuss a schedule line so that you know you'll get a structure of your document architecture you have a header you have a sales document item and after that schedule lines okay so what did you understand if you are entering a material like material code 200 okay so then uh, you are entering the quantity okay so mm -hmm. how system is understanding this one okay in general mm -hmm. so the material got created uh, within the plant and storage location relevant plant and storage location that plant is determining at three levels so we have discussed it right one is at uh, one is at customer material info record okay last time we have seen right how customer material info record works in the same way yes yes second if preference it is giving to customer master for determining your plant third preference it is giving to material okay so this is one thing like you know for understanding your plant it can be from any one of these uh, factors but your material code actually identified by your SAP system because of certain configuration. Okay. One of the configuration is called item category determ determination. Okay. Item category determination. We'll get into this in another uh, few minutes but before that what kind of materials you have in industry tell me types of materials the type of materials yeah finished goods or yeah raw materials raw materials okay and the next one is finished goods okay as you said that Tell me others. Trading goods. Mm -hmm. Service materials. Correct. Correct. Like that. You have something called pipeline materials. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have something called um, what I would say configurable materials right mm -hmm. configurable materials con configurable materials and you have something called packing materials these are the some you know frequently uh, packaging materials and the packing materials okay mm -hmm. These are the some some examples of frequently used in industry. Okay. So whatever the materials uh, you take, it will be identified by your material type. Okay. In the similar way in sales order. Okay. Whatever the materials you are entering that that will be identified by your item category. Got it. So mm -hmm. what kind of categories, what is this new term? What kind of categories we have in SAP? What is this new term to identifying? See, this item category might be for raw material, this item category for trading goods, this item category for uh, service materials or configure materials or packing materials, okay? It can be anything, okay? So item category, what it talks about, your item category will have certain attributes how your item should behave in sales order okay for example standard material okay standard means so for example you take this 200 okay you are giving for how much price 300 euros 
for example okay in the same way you have something called free goods right you got it for free goods you, you don't mm -hmm. have any price right price will be nil okay so yes, whether yes. this item category for the standard material whatever you take but are yeah, free goods but, but, uh, different from samples yeah yeah exactly exactly that's what i was going to to ask yeah your samples is your business context like you know if you are sending for uh, for your customer to check mm -hmm. the sample and after that uh, it will be converted into the sales order sometimes uh, best nice. example you we have already discussed the best example if you go for uh, sales executives uh, they are uh, meeting their medical practitioners right in hospitals so they are giving some samples as their medicines from that company okay and after that a doctor will prescribe and you know your consumers whoever the patients will be there they will go and they will buy from either from hospital or outside medical stores okay uh yaga if i if i might uh ask because when i'm creating a free samples mm -hmm. uh they're asking me to put the price okay and and in the in the in the conditions or condition conditions of a material okay. then there i can find i can find something with which is called um uh cost I not the it. value not the not the pr of zero zero but something Correct. which is called cost and then i'm i'm taking that cost and i'm putting that and then in the value i'm putting z n n which is giving back to zero as a free uh article so Correct. do we have a case where the i the, will the mati i will i will tell you like we have one concept called free goods actually okay now okay. let me tell you how the price will be determined for certain material then why we are giving free then you can understand okay just wait for few days we'll get i will get into that but in your case still if it is asking price means suppose this article you are giving it is a free okay but what is the worth of this uh, material 300 euros right so indirectly you can tell to the, your customer how much worth you are giving see when i am giving one uh, gift to you okay the gift price i might i might not tell you in the bill okay i'm just giving as a gift article when i give to you certain article i want to tell how much worth i am giving how much value i am giving both cases same the only thing is that one place i am telling the gift to price this is the worth i am giving to you for information and second case i am not giving i am not giving uh, the information uh, what is the uh, gift article i am giving to you you understand the points right levi uh, can you explain again so like you know this 200 uh 20 pieces mm. 200 mm -hmm. material code 220 pieces cost is 300 euros okay in our yeah. example the same same 200 pieces same 200 article 20 pieces if i don't show you this price but i'm just giving to you as a gift then uh, what is the cost how should you know you don't know right being yeah, a customer yeah. i will not know yeah when I say it is free, but I am showing in SAP, the price is 300 means this is the worth the value I'm giving to you. Indirectly, this is one way of, uh, you know, attracting your customer, right? If you are giving free mm -hmm. means sometimes some free goods, they don't know what is the worth. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. now, nowadays you got Google and other search engines so that, you know, they can search it out. Okay. But uh, in previously, it is not the case, right? But if you try to search, in google also sometimes uh, certain industry materials like you know knowledge based products they don't know the value such cases uh, whatever the free i'm giving i, I can able to uh, determine through my sap system so that he can see w what is the worth he is getting as a free right understand or confuse so you just wait for some time i will show you okay 
okay okay better wait for few days we'll get into the pricing that time i will show you okay you got it yes for me yeah yeah like that if you have a standard material that means uh, you are entering this product all these are the standard materials like that you can enter service materials right service means which is intangible in nature that you cannot touch it but you can give the service that's it you got it right so i am telling a technician comes to your location he is repairing certain machine so for two hours you are charging but you are not delivering this product right physically okay but you are entering the service material to price uh, how much uh, cost uh, calculated for those two hours service at your customer place got it in the same way suppose you are returning the product okay how system will know these are the types of item categories like you know when you are returning so the same standard product whatever the 200 you enter on return order it will be behave like a return item category determination okay because which one is returned which which one is returned and which one is actually sold uh, the system you have to give the intelligence right you understand my point okay yes so standard service returns like that you have something called text materials so when you sell this 200 material 20 goods with that you are you are sending one brochure as a free of cost okay browser is having so suppose if you want if you bought uh, certain products within the product box you will find some text paper right textbook for example if you if you buy iphone mobile how iphone will be used user instructions will be there right mm -hmm. so like that you know you, you you are giving the text with the product so the text will text might be uh, text cost might be included with your product or else you know text will be sometimes separately charged it depends of the customer and depends mm -hmm. on the client who is selling that product okay understand yes yes okay there is something called value value product is different from your text product value means for example if you buy a gold or silver you got it right crude oils so those those metals having certain value you understand my point or not okay value if you'd like to calculate value you are having a value kind of uh, category products will be there you see how many categories you got it standard service returns and value like that if you have something called packing got it mm -hmm. got it or not so yes so like this uh, n number of types will be there those types will be called categories so these categories are defined for your material which you are selling or you know giving service or taking return or you know giving the text with the standard material or value and packing like that you know so like that you know your item category is going to tell what kind of product you are using for your sales services okay mm -hmm. so this item category can be belongs to this one or this one or any one of this product but how you have how you you have told to your SAP system in that way your SAP system will behave like uh, the same material might behave like a standard material the same material behave like a service material that intelligence you are giving and you are controlling this one so this uh, all the standard materials will be grouped okay see because if I say I have a hundred materials all those are standard materials how the system will know you have some attribute in material master it should belongs to this one right for grouping okay got it yes yes so this group is called item category group okay you got it 
Yes. So now let me tell you, okay, how the system will determine certain, for example, this 200, if you entered in the SAP system, how your system will understand. First, let's go to the SAP system and I will show you what is the item category is currently now we are getting in. Now you don't have, till now you don't have an observation, right? Okay. Got it? Yes. So you understand one co concept, okay? The same concept, what I would say, the same concept will be applicable to all your item categories. Got it? Yes. Let me get into the SAP. You mean you mean the all, all the item category from raw materials, finished goods, trading goods, service materials, pipeline, or configurable materials, packing materials, all of them will have standard service return text value and packing. Yeah, different uh, material types will have different item categories, but item category how it should behave. It it's all depends on attributes of your item category. Let me get into that. You try to understand okay. one item category, so that you know you can uh, map your mind. Still, if you if you are not able to understand, I will uh, repeat again. Okay, it's okay. easy. Okay, okay? but uh, theoretical example may not be. It's uh, just you know giving direction to see on SAP. But when you see on SAP, your you will get to know the actual context. What we are discussing now. Okay. So let me get on to the SAP. But Jaga, yeah, I want to connect this very well. So you mean that the item category is it related to sales document item or schedule lines? So it will be related for both but i'm getting to that first try to understand sales item level okay item uh, so whatever the line item you are entering right okay okay that you try to understand and schedule lines i will show you how it is linked right. actually maybe tomorrow or something like that okay, okay let me let me raise one sample sales order till now you have an observation about you know sales document header Let's have a look how the system behaves now. When I enter this material, right? Okay. You can mm -hmm. see this material I entered 200. This you can understand the quantity and the unit of measurement, description, customer material number. You see this one? What is this? Item category. You can see that, right? You can see tan is for standard item. TANN is for free of charge item. See value item, I told you, right? TAW. Make to order, you will have separate item category. And this is for, you know, this stock is delivered by your vendor, outside of vendor. And like, you know, this stock is received from your vendor and it will be delivered by uh, your company, okay? These, I'm just showing an example. How we got the tan, that's the understanding we need first now, okay? We'll get into that, each and every item category. Okay, now let's go to SPRO, IMG, go to sales and distribution, so you can see here, what is that sales? Within the sales, sales document type, sales documents. And we have discussed till now sales document header. Now we are getting into the new concept called sales document item. You see define item category. So, 
before that let me show you let me create an enquiry and quotation also so that you know what is the difference you are getting for the same uh, uh, material actually so that you will have an, a different observation i'm just giving the i'm just sharing the new screen for quotation i'm just entering the same material you just try to observe this go to the sales tab so what is the item category you are getting here item category agn in sales order what is the item category you got it tan Tan. right tan right yeah now go to the enquiry now V A eleven. V A twenty eleven. Ah, eleven. I oh, know twenty one. Yeah, twenty one is for quotation. Now, but have... Yaga, sorry to take you back, but what is the main difference between um, inquiry, inquiry, and the uh, and the uh, quotation? So, inquiry is uh, basically when a customer is uh, asking about, you know, if he would like to buy a product. okay so he he may call through phone or email or else physically he is uh, uh, getting into the store and asking enquiring about that product what is the price and you know how much quantity and in what size it is available like that okay that is basically enquiry quotation is all about when he when he decided to buy that product he will ask the shop shopkeeper wow. give me the details hmm? okay quotation is no. all about details right Okay. No, j'ai pris la douche la nuit passée, frère. Mais j'ai 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 c'est un cochon. Je je transpire comme pas possible. You got it? Yeah. You got it? Y- yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. It was uh, my friend who was disturbing me. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. You got yeah. it? Or what is the context? What is inquiry and what is quotation? Shall I repeat it? No, no, no. I, yeah, I get that the inquiry is someone who just asking, but the quotation is someone who can buy. Uh, ah, yeah? no, it's not like that. Ah, uh, inqu- whatever you thought about inquiry is correct. Quotation is nothing but you are just gathering the details about that product. When it is so available, in the, what in is the, the price? so inquiry inquiry with you or you only see the stock or you you can we create an order using the inquiry inquiry is just you know you no. just inquiry inquiry is just we uh, can use asking. a quotation right inquiry is For just know that we need to use a quotation right yeah without we inquiry also you can inquiry. You, inquiry inquiry is nothing but how you inquire the product okay for example mm-hmm. this material 200 is there G- gs chocobar 100 okay 100 grams so you are enquiring this product whether in your shop this product exists or not first if you are getting into the any walmart store you are asking this brand is available or not okay if it is available if it is available in 50 grams or 25 grams or 100 grams okay that is enquiry just uh, you may send an email you may send uh, uh, you know telephone by calling them and you are enquiring about the product or else you can even uh, uh, you can even directly approach them and you know enquire about that product so your shopkeeper says this product is available then what what he will do he will give the quotation how much how much quantity you want he will ask right okay so you can say that you know i need 100 boxes so for 100 boxes what is the price for 200 boxes what is the price for 300 boxes what is the price till what date to what date it is available that is quotation your suppose if enquiry means it might not be converted into your quotation right you, you just enquiry you say that you know i don't want it then they don't create the quotation so if you want it then uh, you you can enquire it for 200 boxes quotation he has given certain price at quotation level 
your customer says that uh, i mean you may decide a letter that you know you don't want 200 boxes you want 500 boxes again you can call and ask them instead of 200 i want 500 boxes at sales order level whatever the quotation it is copied we can increase the quantity right sales order is actually your actual uh, legal agreement when you book a order for your iphone you are directly booking right because you already predetermined but when you wanted to enquire mm-hmm. about that product you are getting into the iphone website and you are checking the details that is enquiry there some information if you want it they are giving you know customer box information box right you are entering you know what is the price and what is all those stuff if you want it then you understand my point or not hello yeah for me yeah, yeah, yeah i get it josh am i clear you doubt or yes 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 i understand on that point okay so now we have different item item categories right afn and uh, in quotation agn and sales order 10 why we have these many item categories i can use the same item category right for the same document same purpose if i want it see same product only i am just uh, trying to uh, wanted to buy so i can use the same item category if i would like to sell it but why we have different item categories that means there there will be certain mechanism within the within the item category that is controlling based on your document type you understand my point now yeah okay so i will clear your doubts soon let's get into the item category attributes so what is the item category we are seeing you try to understand one item category you can able to map one moment you can see sap now right yes let me get into the path again spro img go to the get into the sales and distribution module go to the sales sales documents sales document item it is just beside to your sales document header within that we are ch- checking item categories okay so mm-hmm. we have seen tan right standard item in sales order tan got determined right yes you see this yes if you go back and how it is determined i will show you now okay you just see this path assign item categories okay you click this this is the place where your item category is determining what is our document type jwar1 right jwar1 yes so jwar1 so let's keep it aside i will get into that okay so this is the item category we want it for this document type you got it right so your item category is the combination of sales document type item category group uses high level item category and default item category so let me quickly share the excel first okay how you are how you are going to determine your item category at a sales document level you should know which document type i am determining my product correct right mm-hmm. for which product i am determining for which document type that means what is that sales doc okay next one is what your 
item category group got it item category group what is this item category group that means assume your all standard products will be grouped okay with four one four digit code for example all your uh, 200 300 500 all material codes will be grouped with one item category group called norm which is in standard actually okay so if it is norm so then all these three material codes belongs to the same group right now means it is one group name okay like that with 200 you are selling t1 t2 t1 and t2 like that 3 3 these are the three different material codes those are belongs to your text you got it text means all this text material will be grouped as one group name that is called text you understand the difference what is the standard and what is the text got it yes if yes. you you just try to understand this example your standard product like you know this is a sellable material so this is text material okay with 200 you are giving text as a free so for 200 for example you are entering into the sales order so you, this material should know which doc for which document it is uh, for which document you would like to determine okay this product at item level so then sales document type i should know so this product is belongs to which group norm right that means norm is the group somewhere it should be linked in your material master okay we just keep it aside there is something called uses okay uses means for certain item category so we are going to keep the uses also and high level item category and next one is your default item category see you just keep it these two fields for for the timing you try to understand this what is my document type should know for my material when i am entering into the sales document type so it should know because your material is belongs to certain plant right and it should belongs to certain storage location okay and it is belongs to certain distribution chain sales arc and channel this is how we de we define our material right plant is what 1 chm storage location still we didn't not posted for example storage location is 1000 okay sales are gives 1 chm distribution channel is what do you call gr right xg gr retail xg okay. is division actually basically okay ah uh, yes xg is division gr is your retail channel so you should know mm. these factors but this material what kind of material what kind of attributes whether it is having price whether it is billable whether it is uh, you know a returnable material what kind of material your document type should know right so if it is sellable material this jwr one is the document if it is a written material what is the document type re in standard if it is uh, uh, cash sales material what is the document type cs if it is credit memo what is my document type cr if it is a debit memo what is my document type dr like that if it is some other business process what are the business process if you take if it is rush order what is my document type so based on your document type 
it should know what kind of attributes i am having we are going to discuss that attributes like you know whether it is priceable whether it is billable whether it is you got it right whether it is text material so you are giving the behavior of uh, this material code right this 200 assume that it is belongs to certain attributes like you know standard if it is priceable and billable and all so you are grouping such kind of materials into one group then obviously I, the material will be automatically determined when i call uh, uh, my item category determination so item category what i am choosing it has 10 now you can see right if i did this configuration mm -hmm. tan but will be tan. I'm not seeing uh, the red screen can you shift to the one moment you are seeing excel right yes yes so then uh, i am not showing the i am not showing in sap so i have shown you already in sap how the tan is determined okay mm -hmm. so i am just showing an excel to give better understanding this is very important so yes. item yes. so so when the combination of your sales document type item category group uses and high level item high level item category i will get into that later but try to understand default item category because of this combination okay so my item category got determined right you understand or not yes okay so now what kind of attributes i have as why why i have why why should we require tan in sales order why should we require uh, afn afn in inquiry why should we require agn in quotation understand mm -hmm. so that we will get into that let's keep that suspense for some time okay yes yes We'll re-login again, okay? <laughs> 